The guy that's editing, not the one that's playing. You'll see that guy soon. But I uh, just want to give you a little background. We got three horror games. A little run on back to good old gaming stuff. There'll be a lot more videos, but this is the start. Just a little part of the snacks. And we got the first game here, and it's being played by Gavin. The next game is played by me. You'll see. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at the end of the video. I better see ya. I can barely hear him because these headphones cancel out quite a bit of noise. I fixed up the camera angle also, so now we got we got we got full live action reaction. Action, reaction, reaction. So, so I, it's gonna get interesting. Yeah, this is another chill's art game. That, gonna be curious. That he probably won't. Probably will get to the end or die and choose the wrong game. This is what's really terrifying. I played through this one already and I fucked this up recording wise. I fucked this up recording wise. So now it's my turn. So I made sure everything's fine, so now I'm just throwing him in the wolves and just laugh. So you can join me in doing that. This will be fun. Shake my hand. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the mage. The mage doesn't get handshakes. Fate for the demons? <laughs> the mods? <laughs> yes. You will find out very soon.
How is it getting louder? Something's happening, that's why. 
you, you have to pay attention and stop. <laughs> stop freaking out about the door.
runs. That's what I got. Shocked me down to my core. <laughs> you said I need to pause that one. <sighs> that, was, that was a little wild. She actually, it may not have looked like it, but that was like. Oh, it got me. You that was my fight or flight kicking <laughs> in, and I think my body chose fight and was ready to just attack whatever was in front of me. But <laughs> I chose fright. I tell you that. I literally shit myself. That was terrifying. What? Oh. It's Baja Blast. Jeez, <sighs> ten, twelve. All right, we're gonna finish this floor, and then that should be a good checkpoint. Yeah. You got this. Fucking stupid bitch. <laughs>
right, guys. So that was part one. That was a good amount done, though. That was, that was a good amount of time. Spring voids. The universe is a pretty big place. It's just us that seems like all the place is space. Carl Sagan. And the rest of the world. Ah! You may be trying to send the pivot up. Where may we be? A book with a wand. Or a really big a grimoire? It's a big pencil. What are you trying to do over there? connection. Nothing else around there? Oh. 
they're both of us, huh? Oh. This is Head Central TV. with some rather unexpected news. I'm not entirely certain if I should be relaying this, but it appears we are witnessing something rather peculiar here in our town. There's a significant amount of light flickering, accompanied by an eerie sound. It's quite unsettling. Moreover, the source of this light appears to be rapidly approaching. GBGBs. GBGBs. Hold on. There's something moving fast. What the fuck? Got one in there. Jesus Christ. All that. Hopefully this is where he dies. Terribly amiss is from folding out there, I'm afraid. I can't quite put my finger on it, but the situation appears dire. No shit, motherfucker. I must impart two crucial pieces of evidence to you, information to you. Firstly, there's a bunker across the road, nestled in the heart of the forest. Leave the station, cross the street, and turn right. You'll discover a path weaving through the woods. Follow it, and you'll locate the bunker. Now here's the second matter. You have the power to save numerous lives. I'm detecting multiple radio signals, precisely four directed toward the signal stations. This intel could be life-saving, so I implore you, broadcast these final messages to the town stove. But do it quickly. Your generator is running low fuel, and you must reach the bunker, therefore, before it depletes entirely. I'm placing my trust in you, Mike. Keep safe. Somewhere, someone is coming today. What? 
Time limit. There's life at stake, Gavin. It's up to be in your hands. We'll see how this turns out. Antenna. We got buns and we got lemons. You know us and we got lemons. But you but you get a bit free. And in my pajamas. For the bed, when you store the old boy's tail of work to free you for all the bedhead, we do this whole day for your. Thank <laughs> you. 
to the acceleration as humans exist as days, weeks, and days and weeks have passed, humanity is quickly fading away from the predators far superior to our own scores. Our sky will never be the same again. That eye in the mist of the stars will forever be watching us, ensuring that the elimination of all who dare enter its field of vision. We are left in the sea of uncertainties in the midst of the cosmology. A civilization attracted too much attention and is now paying the price. The reason why fuck! Thank you very much for watching this quick horror game in the first editions of the Snacks Edition gameplay one-shots. It's a work in progress. We'll figure it out. See you in the next one.